solutions. And tonight's teams for the visitors, Gosport Bar, number one, Lewis Watch, number two, Frankie Page, number three, Harry Medway, number four, Alfie Liss, number five, Eddie Wakeley, number six, and captain, Ed Saunders, number seven, Ethan Miller, number eight, Jack Breed, Hans Flood. There you go, he finally blows the whistle there. A Gosport player, Borough, play the ball back here towards Page, then across to the centre half list. Ball played forwards, looking for Onuwachu. It's been headed away by Nathan Smart. Goes out of play for a throw here to Gosport Borough. Just Lynch now turns inside, plays the ball here towards Dobson. Dobson just gets the ball, 10 yards inside his own half, up against Page, trying to go past him. Goes on the outside. Page goes with him well. Page still sticking with him. Dawson gets a crossing right footed. It's come through to Watkins. He misses. It's so he comes back out towards Lynch. Shoots. Saved again. It's blocked on the line. Williams. Oh, wow. Way. Two good saves by the goalkeeper and a great block by the Gosport back line. Takes it hard to the first half. Goes all the way through to uh, Dobson at the far post. And he fires that ball over the top of the bar there. The ball here to Dobson. Dobson just swatched on to the other side here. Dobson on the right hand side. Cuts inside. Evades the challenge. Still has the ball at his feet. Back heels it into the path of Jackman. Jackman now with the ball. Finds Dobson again. Dobson looks up. Chips the ball in first time. Looking for Watkins. Oh, he tries to get there. And it's just slightly over his head and out of play. The player to take this throw. And he's going to find Williams. Williams trying to turn Medway on the far hand side. Gets past him and tries to get to the byline. Looking for the ball in. Trying to find... Uh, it's bouncing around. Watkins shoots and Watkins scores! And a bit of unfortunateness there inside the Gosport Borough half. But it allows uh, Brad Watkins to score. The first goal coming on 14 minutes. This ball hits. Miller, Dobson tries to win it back. In fact, it's won back by Nathan Webb on the edge of the box in towards William. Try to find it back towards Webb. Webb plays it here towards Dobson. Dobson crosses first time. Comes through towards Manny Williams, just behind him. Towards Lynch. Lynch fires it over the top of the bar. Corner. Dobson just waiting for a bit of movement inside the box from the Slough players and goes deep to the far post where it's. Oh, it's an own goal almost. It's Wakeley. Wakeley headed it against his own crossbar. Then it hits Breed on the back and then into the arms of the goalkeeper watch back towards Webb Williams will play the ball over looking for the run of Watkins underneath it is Miller Miller's header comes as far as Williams Williams keeps the ball in does well to run with the ball chips it on the far hand side to Lynch Lynch's got a bit of space here ball's bouncing in front of him nicely hits it on the shot oh it's just over the top of the bar from the edge of the penalty area by Lynch in towards Smart Smart plays it in towards Wells finds Dobson Dobson turns runs with the ball in towards Williams. Williams does well to hold it up. Now finds Brad Watkins. Watkins one and one with a goalkeeper. He makes it two! Does Brad Watkins on 34 minutes. Great little play there by Manny Williams. And uh, Watkins was one and one with a goalkeeper. Waiting for the goalkeeper to come out. And then just chipped it over the top of him. And Slough have a two goal lead here at Arbour Park. Both goals coming to Brad Watkins. Watch you holds the ball up well. In towards Bree. Bree trying to find on the far hand side Mason, but uh, Wells has come across. Chest it to his goalkeeper. Poor clearance by Turner. Comes to on watching. This is first time. Oh, what a great goal that is! And Gosport Bow have got one back. It's Ifiani on the Ruchu. And he's hit that from fully 25 yards. It's a cracking goal. And a poor clearance by Jack Turner. Straight to on Wachu. And he's absolutely hammered that and passed a despairing dive. Jackman inside his own half. Chips it forward, trying to find Dobson. Dobson cuts inside from the right-hand side now. Still running with the ball. Finds Manny Williams. Williams gets to the byline. Chips it first time. Looking for... He doesn't need to because he's gone and scored himself. Manny Williams as a third for Slough. From a really difficult angle. He was running towards the byline on the edge of the 18-yard box and just chips it in. I think it was a cross. He's got over the head of everyone. And Turner can play the ball forward. So looking for Watkins. Watkins chests it down in towards Togwa. Togwa almost playing left back. Gives it to Watkins. Watkins comes down this left-hand side. 
Back in towards Dobson. Dobson into the edge. Gets inside. Hits it with some power. It's taken a deflection off Saunders and out for another corner to Slough. It's Lynch with this corner for Slough. Whips it into the far post. Headed by Inns. Across goal. It will stay in play with it. It's kept in play by Lynch. Lynch hits it with some pace. Comes off the head of Saunders. It's out for another corner. Uh, no. The referee has said it come off a Slough plate. It's out for a goal kick. And again, it's going to be... Uh, uh, throw by Chapman in towards Lynch. Lynch finds Wells. Wells under pressure, trying to turn. And uh, just as he tries to turn, the referee blows up. He's actually blowed up 14 seconds early. But there you go. It's half time here at Arbor Park. It's Slough 3, Gosport Borough 1. The ball on. Finds Williams. Williams holds the ball up here for Slough. Hits it straight at Breed. It'll come out here to Wells. Wells brings the ball forward. It's 10 yards inside the Gosport Borough half. Turns, slows it. Plays back in towards Williams. Chips it forwards, looking for the run of Watkins. Watkins plays back into Dobson. Shoots first time. It's hit the crossbar and saved by Watch. Ball still bouncing around and in the end it's hooked clear. Up towards Wells. Lack of noise from the Slough fans on the behind the goal. Dobson plays the ball ball. Gets a lucky recatch. Eh? And now can burst down this left hand side. Looking to cross first time. Plays on the crossbar. Oh, so Lynch who gets the shot. And he, he just guided it. And it's a save again by the goalkeeper. Off Slough. It's going to be Page that will take this throw. Finds Sinclair. Sinclair just pushed off the ball and it comes out here towards Dobson. Dobson looks up, trying to find the run of Brad Watkins. Oh, it's over the head. Watkins is in on first time. He's on his hat. He's two. Oh, he's just wide of the goal. For Lynch. Lynch takes it on his chest. Plays it down the line looking for Williams. Williams will try and keep the ball in. Does well by that byline. And finds the ball back here towards Lynch. Lynch chips it in. It comes off the foot of Medway. Oh, Medway slips and poor ball by him. It's going to be kept in by Williams. Williams does well by the ball. It still has the ball. Keeps it across the line. It's going to come out to Watt Dobson. Will he show it? Oh, blocked on the line. What a block that is. And I will tell you who that is. That is Harry Medway with the block. That is one of the best bits of defending you will ever see. Dobson fired that in from about 10 yards. He hit it really hard. Medway slid in, put his legs on the line. The corner though for Slough. Lynch will take it on that far hand side. Plays it deep, looking for Dobson, rises up, headed off the line, this time um, by I think it was Watts in the end, no, sorry, Page it was in the end, my apologies, Page with the clearance off the line, ball still bouncing around, mistake by Gosport, but it's hooked clear in the end by Saunders, looking for Williams, Williams up against Page, Williams will let the ball bounce, takes a turn inside, finds William, uh, Fraser, Fraser trying to play it ball, it's fucked in, it's come off uh, Dunn, in towards the path of Watkins, Watkins gets to the edge of the box, Holds the ball up, still has the ball at his feet. Finds Dobson, Dobson has the ball, trying to shoot. Shoots right foot, it's deflected and it's gone wide for a corner. And it is Jackman to take this throw for Slough. Finds Dunn, Dunn just opens his body up, makes a little bit of space. Runs for the ball, shoots from distance. Oh, it's just wide of the goal there by Simon Dunn. Lynch back in towards Fraser. Fraser takes the touch on the centre circle, looking for Williams. Oh, Williams does well. Turns Wakeley, has the ball. Trying to find Wilkins, Wilkins trying the goalkeeper again. He puts it in, it's his hat trick! Brian Watkins, his second hat trick of the season, and on 27 minutes of the second half, 27, 72 minutes, Brad Watkins gets his hat trick for the Rebels, and it's 4 1 to Slough. Uh, Dobson to take this corner for Slough, in swinging corner for. The Rebels goes all the way through. Oh, Watch drops it through to Jackman and then Watch saves it, bouncing around, comes back out to Warren Harris, fired in, blocks on the line again, still bouncing around inside the six yard box to Dunn, blocked again. And this time the block was from Kimber. It's Sinclair with the ball, up against Wells, just been slowed down, plays it in here towards Bree. Bree takes a touch, heavy touch, just overruns it. Nathan Smart goes down too well. And in the end, it's Sean Fraser who comes in with a tackle, evades the challenge of Kimber, now finds Williams. Williams cuts in across the halfway line. Gives the ball here towards Lynch. Lynch is in a central position here. Lynch is still running with the ball. Finds Warren Harris is on that side. Harris shoots, but it's wide of the goal. In towards Dunn. Finds Fraser on the edge of his centre circle. Looking for Williams. Williams just chips it into the path of Lynch. Lynch can now run down this right-hand side. Up against Medway on the edge of the box. Cuts inside. Still has the ball. Gives it to Williams. <coughs> Williams shoots. Oh, Williams! What a goal! From the edge of the area, he's just looked up, seen the goalkeeper off his line and curls it into the top of the net. And on 70, well, 81 minutes, Manny Williams, with his seventh goal of the season, makes it Slough 5, Gosport Borough 1. 
we'll go see if we can find some uh, latest score. Ball's here with Williams. Williams, 30 yards away from goal, still running with it. Chips it in, looking for a play. It's headed away, comes only far as Lynch. Lynch on this right-hand side. He's got Jackman with him if he needs him. Finds Dobson instead. Dobson takes a touch, cuts inside. Still finds uh, Dunn. Dunn shoots, takes a deflection, and it's gone out for a corner. Uh, it looks like it's 2-2 between Hereford and... Uh, Tiverton it is at the moment we'll, we'll try and give you some balls and uh, a chance there for Slough just goes wide of the goal waiting for the referee to signal it's ok Dobson comes up takes the corner takes it in quickly towards Williams Williams shoots it's blocked he gets back out to him he shoots second time balls off the line he's cleared off the line again that is seven times in this second half balls only come as far as Wells though Wells has the ball at his feet on the right hand side bursts into the box trying to do a little trick he's come out for a corner and take it quickly and Dobson takes it near post, poor corner, and uh, Kimber comes across. It's actually the full-time whistle here at Arm Park, and Slough have won five goals to one. Uh, it could have been a lot more, but the Gosport Borough team have defended so well. Seven times in the second half alone did they clear the ball off the line. Slough have also hit the crossbar a couple of times. Uh, the goalkeeper watched made three really good saves in the first half. And uh, Slough can be pleased with their work this evening. Bearing in mind that Chris Flood uh, didn't need to come on the pitch. So they've rested him for Saturday. In seems to be OK. Brad Watkins will take the headlines with his hat-trick. Scoring on 14, 34 and 72 minutes for his hat-trick. Manny Williams with two cracking goals.